Can we talk about your marriage a little bit? You can't. I'm not married, but you can. Oh, you're not. Mm-mm. I thought you were. Mm-mm. You weren't. I've been with my girl for eight years. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm not married though. I could have sworn I, th- I thought I seen you. Uh, media takeout put that, man. I told my publicist we need to do a release on that. But, yeah, I'm definitely not married. We never did a, uh, a follow-up on that. But media takeout put out, you know, some craziness talking about I just got married. and all Right. This. Yeah, it's not true. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. you're not married. But yeah. you've been with the same woman for eight years? Mm-hmm. Okay, got you. All right, cool. We'll just keep it like that. That's it. Those are my questions for you. Anything else that I didn't bring up that you um, want to talk about? Uh, my book. Oh, okay. I got a book. Okay, I didn't know that. Let's yeah. talk about that. Yeah, yeah so uh, I got a book called Spectacular Love, How to Make Good Love Last. Uh, it goes for pre-order in uh, September, and uh, pretty much it's just about me and my relationship that I've been in for eight years, and basically how I just, uh, how we basically solve our problems, and I'm a strong believer in if something worked for me, it could work for you. You might not have the same results as me, but maybe you can take what I did and learn from it and put it in your own way to benefit you uh, in in a certain situation. And uh, basically talk about sex, um, talk about you know how important sex is in a relationship, how important communication is, you know, not to go to bed mad, just really talk it out because half of the time when your girlfriend bitching at you or your, or your boyfriend bitching at you all the time, usually it's just a conversation away from being fixed. And instead of just saying, you know what, uh, I don't care what you say, I'm going to do what I want to do. Sometimes it's just better just to talk, sit down, get it out of the way, and then you'll find yourself being more happier because two miserable people are just going to be miserable. And uh, at that point, you're just wasting each other's time. And um, I'm pretty much talking about like how females going through your man phone or your man going through your female phone. Or, and basically, like you know, if you're not going anywhere and you know if you find something... You, like you still gonna be there, but you are gonna be crying while he out doing his thing or she out doing her thing after you found whatever you found. It's pointless to me. So I felt like that should be ammunition when you know you made your mind up to leave. If you know you're not gonna leave, a wise person once told me, if you go looking for it, you are gonna find it. So nobody's perfect. So the main thing I talk about in the book is, is basically stating that, you know, everybody is gonna mess up. Nobody's perfect. So it's about when that person does mess up, how you gonna deal with it. Spectacular love. Going up for pre-order in September. Go get that.